Hello and welcome to this HowTech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create an Excel quiz. So you can see I've just set up a basic test here. I have two sheets, and to make another sheet, you just need to click this plus button. And you can double click it here to change the name. So I have a basic score sheet right here. And what we want to do is we want to check if these answers are correct. So the correct answer is E, for example. And then I need to type in the answers. So E, A for number 2, and in this box we want to check if E is correct. So we'll hit equals, if, and then we'll need a logical test. And so we'll go to test, and then you can see it has an exclamation mark over it, so it's referencing cells in the test sheet. And then we'll click our answer box, and we'll hit equals, go over to score, and then we have score exclamation mark, we'll hit B2. So, if the value is true, then we want this to say correct. And since it's a word, it's just a string, then we put it in quotes. And then we'll hit comma. And if it's false, we want it to say incorrect. And then we can hit enter. And it says correct because our answer is correct. So then we'll drag it down using the handle. And our number two is incorrect. And that is simply because we're referencing B16, which is right over here. So we want it to reference B26. And so we can simply type it in there. But it's still incorrect, and that's because we don't have anything written there. So if we type in A, it says correct. And now we want to make a score out of that. So we hit equals count if. And then open parentheses. And we need a range. And this is our range. And of course, if I had more questions, they would all be in this range. And then comma, criteria. So if these cells say correct then give us a point so we now have two points because they're both correct so if I wanted each question equal to five points we'll just multiply it by five if I wanted to append on some more text here I would say and ampersand and then quotation mark and space points quotation mark and so we have ten points so now, of course, we don't want students checking over here for the answers. So we'll select these columns, and we can hide them. And if we select everything with Control-A, we can unhide. So we'll just go back and hide these. And, of course, we need to protect our sheet. So we will uncheck these boxes because we don't want students doing anything with it. Type in a password, and then retype the password. And so you can see, can't do anything with a sheet, can't unhide anything. And we can also hide our sheet there to make the document look a bit better. And we can unhide it using the same menu. And we can unprotect it by typing in our password. And then we'll go ahead, select everything, and we can unhide our columns. And there is the score. So this has been a HowTech video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.